Righty, episode 15. Hello and welcome back. Fudgecraft Solo Survival. The sun is out. My watermelons are growing. Look at this. And oh, I've, I've fallen already. Off stream, I did a little bit of work to the potato farm and it is glorious. Why don't I have any dirt on me? I don't know. But you may also notice that I have two saddles on me. What? I know, pretty crazy. So basically, I don't know how this has happened. I've been wanting to get a saddle for the longest time. We finally have one now for S'mores, which I've already put on him. But we now have two extra because I was fishing off stream, which is beautiful. But yeah, look at this. My farm, my potato farm. It's looking pretty good. But here's what we're doing in episode 15. And now a lot of you... You're going to call me out for being a little bit crazy here. But I need you to hear me out, okay? These cows and the sheep, today, they're going. They are being slaughtered, and I'm sorry. I know I'm evil. But the reason for this is because once the barn is built... Well, it doesn't have to be built completely. But I'm going to move them over there. And instead, I want to build a stable here for my horses. I say horses because I actually want to get another horse. Hopefully in this episode. So, um, cows, I am so sorry, but you've got to go. We are also flattening out this hill right here. Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of you are judging me right now because this is a cow farm. You know, why, why would I just, you know, kill them like this? And why not just bring them over uh, to the barn? But you know what? It doesn't take long to get a, a farm like this up and running. So, for that reason, we are going on a bit of a murder spree here. <laughs> I feel awful, but I've been wanting to build a stable here for a long time now. So, um, yep. The, the chat on, on Twitch right now going a little, little crazy at me. Um, someone's telling me to keep two. But you know what? No, it's, it's fine. We'll find cows again. It doesn't matter. And, and plus, we're going to get XP from this. That sweet, juicy XP that I do actually kind of need. Um, so XP, I reckon, in a future episode will be coming soon. Right, give me your XP. I don't really need their food or lever at the moment. Oh, man. This this is such a crazy idea. I'm going to have to rebuild all of this in the future. Evil Fudgy is back. The last cow. <gasps> I'm sorry. Goodbye. And yes, the sheep are also going. I know. I know. This is crazy. I know. But look, we've got the sheep workers over there somewhere. And they're doing just fine. So this hill... It's going. It is gone. And my plan for this episode after I have finished the stable is to head to the nether once again. We headed there in the last episode, but I really want to find a nether fortress. Um, you know, it would be good to get the blaze rods and so on. So uh, hopefully I'll find that in this episode. If not, well, the search continues. Technically, we don't actually need to get rid of the sheep right now because subscriber. Uh, as we get a new subscriber, because I reckon the stables are going to come up to about about here. Uh, but yes, it's Kingfisher resubscribing two months in a row. Thank you very much, Kingfisher, for resubscribing. Right, next thing we need to do now is plan out this hill. Maybe not the most exciting thing in the world. And Pickle Army, 500 bits. Uh, all right, last donation. <laughs> all right, King... Fi uh, no, Pickle Army, sorry. Thank you very much for 500 bits. I, do you know what's really annoying? I can't see the emojis you've put. It just says Pi 100, Pi 100, Pi 100, Pi 100, Pi 100. I think it popped up on screen, but I might have missed that. You know what? I do actually need more dirt. My inventory is full. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention. Look at the bridge. I upgraded the bridge. I know it doesn't look like much. But it looks just a little bit better than what it did before. So, um, thumbs up from me. Thumbs up from me. Okay, so. Duh, oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have, I've done quite a bit off camera, actually. I've uh, done a little bit more organizing. The, di the disc here, it kind of just represents random stuff. Or fishing rods. A bit weird. So, this is now my food chest. So let's drop off all the stuff in there that we don't need. Oh, I got quite a few potatoes in me. I probably should have planted them. We'll uh, we'll put them in here for the time being. And we don't need this. Actually, I'll take one saddle just in case I do find a horse in this episode. 
Um, and do we have? Uh, oh, we got hay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. I think we have everything pretty much um, for this build. Right. Maybe make some smooth stone because I'm not too sure how I want the stable to look yet. But as long as there's room for at least two or three horses, we should be good. Ben, if you smash like and subscribe, you'll literally breathe air. Mystic, ace, thanks for that. <laughs> but that does actually remind me. If you are watching this on the second channel right now, make sure to like and subscribe. More episodes are on the way very, very soon. I'm excited to build the stable. Should look, uh, should look nice. And it also does kind of mean that I will be building another bridge. So the plan of action here is the stable will be built somewhere around here and the bridge will go across here so we can just exit our kingdom immediately and we have a brand new subscriber 64 bits gamer dude thank you very much for subscribing you are going up on the subscriber wall my friend Alrighty, flatten out this area make it nice and easy for me to build on and then we can get started i just can't believe i actually got two saddles in this, like, when I was fishing earlier off camera, I fished them both within, like, a few minutes. And it's taken me so long just to get one. And now, all of a sudden, I got two. I still need more name tags, though. Still need the name tags. We have about three pets that don't have name tags at the moment. Maybe two, actually. Wait, no, Smalls doesn't have a name tag either. Wow, I really need to uh, find some more. All right, so now that we fly out this area, that means we can go to bed and we can get to work the next day. So it's time to get some sleep. Good night, s'mores. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Many adventures to come with you, my friend, very soon, I hope. Um, oh, and also, hello, pudding. Right, let's go sleep. Get some rest. Ben, you should frame a potato for no reason at all. All right, fine. You've convinced me. You have convinced me. My potato is here. And just for that, I'm, I'm making a brand new item frame. Remember, this is for no reason at all. Where, where would you like it? You, you can choose. Mystic Ace wants me to frame a potato. And you know what? I'm going to do it. And this is why, if you're watching this on the second channel, why you should uh, head over to the Twitch streams. Link in the description. Uh, because you can suggest random stuff. Uh, so, Mystic Ace, above... Put it, you want... Okay, you want the potato above the cat. Fine, fine. Okay, you know what? It's going right there. This is <laughs> so random. All right, there we go. Potato now above pudding. Thank you very much for the suggestion. The best suggestion ever, yeah. Right, now, let's actually build this stable. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Or what it's going to look like. Let's see. First, we need to mark out an area. Okay, so we want it to come out to about, I'd say, here. So I do have like a reference image here of a stable I like. But obviously, I want to build my own stable. All right. And then we're going to have, let's see, let's see. Going over here. I'm just basically trying to map out where I want to build it. And the next thing, I'm going to use these wooden uh, logs right here. But what I'm going to do is uh, do, do this. I don't know what this is called, what I'm doing right now. Just like taking the bark off. But I think it's going to look pretty nice by doing that. It's something I haven't done in this entire Minecraft series. It's like shaved like the, the wood, you know. So we're doing it now. I think it looks pretty fancy. You know what else we could do? I don't know how this is going to look. But if we go for uh, dark oak trapdoors, it could look nice. Like going all the way around. And then that kind of defeats the point in actually having the stone brick. So maybe instead we could have a button. Like just for extra detail, pretty much. Like this. I know it's a bit random and there's no, no point to it. But like... It is, it's literally just small details, pretty much. So, this could look nice, having this. I don't know. And then, in between, have it like this. I can't wait to see Smorse's reaction. 
to his brand new stable. He's been outside my house like a dog, you know, on, on a leash as well. Poor s'mores. Like, he, he needs this. He really needs this. And also, any future horses that I get need this. And why have I messed up that badly? No. Bad. Uh, okay, next thing we need to do is we need to add an entrance. So, I'm thinking we have the... We'll have two entrances. So, we'll basically have a wall going along here like this. And we'll make it so the horses can interact with each other, you know, so they don't get lonely and stuff. I, I don't know. You know, horses probably get very, very lonely. So we need to make sure that they're happy at all times, right? We need to have happy horses and go on adventures with them. Next thing I need is we need more fences. To be fair, I don't think we actually need to go upwards this way necessarily. I think if we just have it like this, it might look pretty good. All right. Also, do you think we should stick with the dark oak texture we got going on with my house and do the same with the stable so we keep it consistent? Or do we go for just oak planks? Well, oak stairs. I don't really know. Maybe we should like keep it to the same kind of style. Could be a good idea. Same as the house. I think I agree with that. Right. Let's stick to the same design. I don't think I have any more. Oh, I do have some dark Okay, dark oak logs. Nice. We are in business. Let's put the buttons away. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so next thing we need to do is build the roof. Now, the roof should be fairly fairly straightforward, I'd say. So, uh, dark. No, that's not what I want. We need dark oak, but we need more of that. Okay, so let's go up by one more. And we're going to have it going like this. Ooh, okay. That's where I gotta figure out. I feel like roofs roofs on like buildings can be very, very tricky to do sometimes. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have the outer ones going a little bit higher than actually no, let's go this way. Alright, I'm, I'm figuring it out as I go, alright? Figuring it out as we go. I know it looks like a complete mess down there, but don't worry, we'll work on that. Pickle Army gifted another subscriber to So J. Thank you very much. So, Jay, welcome to the channel. Your name is going on the board. Sorry, I know I know it's a mess right now, but uh, it's a work in progress. I can't wait to see the finished finished thing. It's either going to look great or it's going to look terrible. Find out very soon. Hang on a minute. If we if we do, oh man, let me let me tie this up. So, obviously in Minecraft the best looking design is when the staircase goes up like that. Yeah, that looks way better. Oh, oh no. I am so sorry. I'm, I'm ruining my crops. My crops that I don't really need at the moment. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? This is going to be a nice stable. It's not looking too shabby. Hey. Obviously, I'm not finished, but like... So far, so good. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Okay. So, we need to get back up there. Let's, uh, let's go. I don't know why I still have my fishing rod on me. Should probably just remove that. Okay, so. This, uh, whoops. This is the one that goes one block higher. And then it goes down like this. Yep, that's the same. Pretty sure it is anyway. And now we just got to go all the way across. All right, you know what? I'm not really a big fan of working through the night because of all the creepy crawlies like that guy over there. <gasps> Enderman, look at me. Look into my soul. That's it. Over here. I actually want to kill him. I'm, I'm going for it. I am going for it. I do obviously need uh, ender pearls. So, the more I kill, the better, really. And also, even though I don't really have... Oh, whoa! There's a hole in my wall! What the? That is a very big design flaw right there. Why? Why is... Why do I have that? I need to patch that up. That is not good. Where's the Enderman gone? Oh! No! 
I hate it when the creepers leave craters. No. All right, I've, lo I've lost the ender, man. Oh, a carrot! He dropped a carrot! Yo! The reason I'm excited for that is because obviously I haven't had a carrot before. This now means we can make a carrot farm. Oh, my beautiful carrot. Oh, you know what? Forget, forget the ender, man. Forget it. That was worth the trip. Purely for the sacred carrot that I will have to plant at some point. Oh, the lovely stuff. Hello, pudding. Right. Back to building. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the stable in this episode, but I will definitely do as much of it as I can. Especially as I would like to go to the never in this episode. So I'll do, you know, I'll do as much as I can and uh, we'll see how far we we get to. Uh, obviously, I'll still put s'mores in here, you know, purely for the fact that, uh, well, he needs a stable to live in. Frame a carrot when you get more. Are we just going to like... Oh, are we going to frame all the fruit and veg? If so, I'm down. <laughs> I am down. But yeah, I definitely need to get some, uh, some more carrots. All right, you know what? I am going to... Is this going to look good if I do this? I guess we'll find out. Have it going up like this. Take the bark off. Yeah, there we go. I can't reach. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. We might have to change that a little bit later. All right. Let's quickly take a look at how the stable is. Let's uh, let's go over here. Have a good look. See if the roof is too high. If we like the design. Um, The roof is a little high. But you know what? It's not too bad. We could maybe potentially try and curve it in. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but it could like go curved like this and that way it'll make the roof look less high up because it will be less high up. But at least we've stuck to the design of my house now. So you know what, S'mores? S'mores the horse. Let's get you off your leash. Where where did your leash go? Oh, I got it. Okay, and let's uh let's check out your new home, shall we? Yes. You don't jump very high, but uh here we are. Uh, welcome home. Um, th this is you now. Okay. Uh, bam. There we are. Lovely. And you know what? Just so we really don't lose you, I'm just going to make sure you're, um, you're all strapped in. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we go. I will continue building this little stable very soon. But for the time being, I say we go on an adventure. An adventure to the never. Because I want to find a never fortress. So let's drop off literally everything I have. Since I don't really need to bring a lot other than, um, you know, weapons and so on. So we'll put my good fishing rod there. Oh, actually, one last thing before I go. Before I go to the never as well. Let me build one chest. And put anything horse related in the chest. So we'll put this... Uh... Just put it there. And some hay. Lovely bit of hay. There we go. Enjoy, enjoy. Sorry, I know I said I'm done with the with the stable, but I just want to make sure I have you know some hay for the horses. Alright, lovely stuff. There we go. You know what might be a good idea, real quick though? Is uh, since I'm nearly level level 30, I might enchant a book just before I head out. Just in case I die or something happens, alright? So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to lose my levels. I don't know why I've decided to fish for XP, but, uh, well, we're here now and it's, it's happening. So, yeah. Uh, so, oh, here's my golden boots. Ooh, it might be worth making new ones. They are a little bit damaged. And take some gold. Diamond boots. Let's put you here. And I think we are now officially ready to go to the nether. Is there anything else I should take before I go? I think we are good. Right. Oh, wait, no. I've got to do the book. The whole reason I did that was so I could enchant a book. That was close. Almost went into the nether there. Never a good idea. Never a good idea. Put my good stuff away and have iron instead. You know what? 
If I die, I die. I'm gonna die in style, all right, with my enchanted stuff. Oh, lapis! I always do this! I should just... You know what? Just so I don't make this mistake again, I am bringing lapis downstairs with me, because I'm sick of doing this. And also... I, I know I'm I'm really delaying this whole never adventure we're going on, but uh, there, there we go. The lapis is staying downstairs now, okay? And we're going to put it right here at the entrance so we don't forget. Right. Oh, luck of the sea free. No. No, we're, we're doing it anyway. I don't care. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> We might as well leave some enchants in there too. All right, well, that was a, that was a bit of a fail. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go. To the Never! Woo! Right, please let me find the Never Fortress. Yes. Uh, Golden boots are on. Should we, should we just quickly, um, quickly give this geezer some gold? See what he gives us just before we head out. Right. Do you accept my gift? I was literally doing this for ages in the last episode. Ooh, what was that? Soul sand, junk. All right, you know what? Forget, forget it. All right. Um, it's coordinates time. I can't remember what they are. So uh, if you guys write this down in chat, we haven't been very successful finding a never fortress, obviously yet. But I'm really hoping that today's the day. Oh, man, it's so dangerous being around here. I don't even have any fire protection or anything like that. So I am a little bit worried right now. So apparently we find them in big open pools of lava, I think. Like a, like a large area like this. And that should be where a never fortress is. It's really hard to tell though. And especially as I have my render distance turned down a fair amount. Okay. There. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah, I'm going to die. <laughs> Just like talking about dying and stuff. That happens. It's fine. It's just a bit of lava. It happens. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm going to be okay. Hurry up. There we go. Jeez. Oh, man. Never fortress. Right, we're going to go in this direction. I really am a little bit worried about building a bridge over somewhere. I don't remember the never being this difficult to explore. I think it's definitely got more deadly over the years. Oh, what are these guys? I've never fought one of these. Are, are these uh, are these tough to take down? Genuinely never had to fight them. They're passive. All right, sweet. I guess we'll leave them be. But these guys, well, definitely not passive. That's for sure. You can ride them? Oh. It can take me to the the Never Fortress. Although I don't really want to risk it right now. Uh okay, if we go in that direction might be a good idea. Giza! Giza! Listen to me, mate. I'm not in a good spot to be hit, right? Okay, so uh you just leave me be. That'd be fantastic. No. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Patch that up. Bad. Very bad. Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating that I can't find this never fortress. I just really don't want to travel far to find it, you know? The further we go, the harder it gets to go back. At this rate, I'm probably better off just digging my way to the never fortress. Hello! That's a long way down. I'm trying to figure out... Where would it be? I feel like we're, we're going possibly in the wrong direction. I don't know. I don't know about this one, chat. Boom! Waste of arrows. Oh, we went in the other direction. This is the one. This is the one. And... Forget it. <laughs> I don't want to waste any more arrows. I've only just made some. 28. Oh, jeez. We need more flint. We need more flint. Okay, okay. All right, fella. Take the gold. Give me some potions. Give me the good stuff. Come on. What is that? No. Don't. Don't want that. Don't want it. Don't want that either. 
Oh man, these the, the trays today absolutely suck. Where do we go? Where is this never fortress? We need to find it, otherwise we cannot defeat the Ender Dragon. We must find it. Come on. Ooh, what was that? Oh boy. That's what we wanted. Splash potion of fire resistance. Thanks, buddy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. Woo! We got it. That is actually what I want. Now, I don't know if I want to activate it unless we fall into the lava, like emergency situation. I don't know. I, I just don't want to waste it. So yeah, I could I could go on the lava if I wanted to now, but uh, I don't want to waste that right now. It's good to know I can swim in lava though without dying. Okay, let's uh, let's head back and we'll go in a different direction maybe. Ooh, I don't think I've been down this way before. So, I'm going to make a little trail of cobblestone goodness. Just so I can find my way back. Oh, this is looking kind of promising, you know. So, we've got that over there. Maybe, actually, I might have been down this way. Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. The issue is I'm kind of scared to uh, to go out, you know, too far as well. <laughs> so that doesn't help. Right, I really, I really feel like if I go in this direction, I have a higher chance of finding the Never Fortress. Ooh, what's down here? Nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about this direction here. Feeling good. Oi, mate. Mate. Mates, you will never defeat me. Never. Fortress. Fortress. Where art thou? Yeah, I want to go in this direction. I have more confidence in going this way opposed to the other way. Can I take all these? I don't think I can. So here's the plan. What we're going to do? We're going to prepare for a fight. Okay, a big fight. Prepare the arrows! How many do I have? 27. As long as I just kill a few, should be fine. Sorry, little baby. Ah, you know what? Let's not waste any more arrows. Let's get down there and fight. Let's go! Oh, you guys are passive? I didn't know that. Sorry. Oh, no, you're not. You just didn't see me. Even the even the babies are savages. Woo! The calves. Whatever they are. Oh, poor fella. I feel guilty now. Sorry, mate. Finally! We have discovered a never fortress. Yes! Yeah, buddy! Now, the question is, how are we going to get over there? Probably best to go around this way, or maybe left. Or no, up that way. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's so tricky to get over there. It's so difficult. I, I don't want to use my potion up either. What's this? Nothing. That's not a fortress. It's a... Uh, I will die 100%. Okay. Sebastian? Bastian. Is that how you pronounce it? Okay, great. We haven't found another fortress. Don't you dare push me into the lava. That was actually pretty close. So should I not go there? Alright, we won't we won't bother going there then. I'll still write down the coordinates. It's good to know. Or if you guys could write down the coordinates, it'd be uh pretty handy to have. Right, you know what? I am ending episode 15 here in the never unfortunately couldn't find the never fortress but hey we still got some other stuff which will be very useful in a future episode so make sure to like and subscribe and also make sure to turn notifications on for the next episode episode 16 so goodbye